Tamayas has a master's game with trap tricks right now, which is says a lot about Tamayas and how powerful his deck is. This Yu-Gi-Oh deck could be the bee's knees and I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know about trap tricks. The trap tricks monsters uh, all have effects that will trigger your trap trick Sarah, which is the main card in your deck. If trap tricks, if a trap tricks monster triggers why Sarah's on the field, it gets you a trap hole card. If a trap hole card is triggered, it gets you a trap tricks monster. Basically, the deck allows you to be able to continuously gain resources. And if it goes first, your opponent can be in big trouble because your trap hole cards are just really, really good. This ain't your normal trap hole no more. These are some very, very powerful trap hole cards. Tamias' hand is solid It's who knows what. Okay, this card's really good because it gets you your field spell. And Trap Tricks Garden gives you a normal summon every turn. It's ridiculous. So we'll make the Sarah. Now Trap Trick Garden to summon Miramello. And now you guys are going to watch it. Miramello gets the whole Taya. And now Sarah can trigger to summon a monster. Or set a trap. Whatever you activate, it does the opposite. Like a whole Taya is going to discard Grave Diggers. And now Sarah's going to summon a monster this time. You summon Erdo Kampa. And then you exceed into Rafflesia. You set a trap trick and then pass turn. The opponent's playing Thunder Dragon. So we're going to have a lot of chance of interaction to be able to stop Thunder Dragon in this Chaos Pile deck because it's 60 cards here. It's going to be really crazy to see how it works. So Rafflesia allows us to detach a material, send a trap hole card that meets the activation to negate the activation. We're going to stop Thunder Dragon's effect to get into the Thunder Dragon. I'm not sure if I like that. I don't think I don't I don't think that's the move. Because he just wants the Thunder Dragon Dark in Graveyard. We could Maybe we don't see Reflasia being on the field for that long. Our opponent bestials us. We're gonna Grave Digger trap hole him. So that's another 2000. Homie literally just started his turn. And he's already at half his life points. Since we activated a trap hole card, we can summon. And now they'll go Foxy Tomb to summon Ziamen. Reflacio then turns itself into Floodgate to flip the Zeoman face down. Then Sarah sets Terrifying Trap Hole. As you guys see, this is how the deck steamrolls. Nemesis Flag adds Protos to the field. Holy, if he gets Earth off of that, that's going to be pretty good. We'll banish Floodgate to summon Floodgate. And now we can only activate one more Trap Hole card. They'll summon Protos, gaining Thunder Dragon's effect, and we'll Floodgate it. That's really good, because if they declare Earth, we're kind of down bad. We'll get Thunder Dragon Hawk. We'll activate Thunder Dragon Hawk. Now we know he can't. We know we can't stop him because he's going to turn Thunder Dragon Dark into Thunder Dragon Colossus. So when you're playing against this deck, as soon as possible, you want to try to get rid of the Sarah. But the problem with this is that while her Flash is on the field, your Trap Tricks monsters cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects, or, or can't be destroyed by battle when your opponent cannot target it with card effects. Yeah. So. uh the best play is to attack into the Reflation and hope you have something else for the Sarah. Really, really unfortunate that he had to learn it, but you guys are going to learn through him. All right, so it's back to our turn. This deck does struggle a little bit with beating bigger monsters, but the extra deck can always help us with that. We'll go ahead and make Trap Tricks Adipus. Uh, this Link Summon card is unaffected by trap effects. That's all of the Trap Tricks extra deck monsters. Monsters you control gain 1,000 attack while you have a normal trap card in your graveyard. You can target one face-up card your opponent controls up to the number of plant insect monsters you control and negate their effects. That's pretty good. If we use that, we'll be able to turn back on our uh, searching. But I don't think there's any searching we can do at this second that I can see. We'll go Adipus to negate the Colossus by banishing... Oh, wait, wait, what? Hold on. Once per turn, you can target face-up cards up to the number of plant insect monsters you control, negate their effects. Then apply this effect. Banish one normal trap card from your graveyard. If you do destroy those targeted face-up cards, I did not see that part. Hey, yo, the card got so much better. Reading is important, I guess. So we get over the Thunder Dragon Com Colossus. We turn the Arrow Compa into a Sarah. I think that's a bit of a misplay, but that's fine. We can then use Mantis to trigger the Sarah. The reason why I think it was a bit of a misplay is because we could have easily summoned the Sarah first and then used it, but since we use Mantis effects, it doesn't matter. None of these monsters are stronger than the Protos, but as long as we don't attack in the Protos, we, can, we can't we can bottomless it. It can't be destroyed, right? Uh-oh. 
Druid's Worm will then banish the Thunder Dragon. Dark, our opponent is going to try to roll us. They're going to get Thunder Dragon Roar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Thunder Dragon Roar effect. Get Colossus. Tribute the Zihamid. That's such a weird combo line. What? Is this like a quick effect or something? <laughs> what? Why didn't we just flip up the Ziamid and use its effect? Huh? I don't see. Why did we do that? <laughs> well, Ash Blossom the Thunder Dragon Dark. That's fair because that prevents them from getting into their effects. It's floodgated. Oh, yeah, it's Floodgate Trap Hold. Holy, I forgot about the effect. I'm goofing today. Floodgate Trap Hold prevents the monster from being flipped back face up. So it's a dead card. Duh. I'm so slow. I'm sorry, guys. We'll then go Sarah to summon Holy Pu Pudica. Pudica to banish the Thunder Dragon because it can banish when it's special summon. Druus Worm also won't activate because it was banished. It was sent to the graveyard, but then it was immediately banished. So... It's not in the location to activate its effect. Pudica will return his... Wait, 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 what? Oh, we banished Colossus, but I'm pretty sure if we send this to the graveyard and banish it, it still won't gain its effect because it's all a part of resolution. So, all right. We'll then trigger Sarah's effect. Use Mermelo. Trigger the effect of Sarah again to gain another trap, trick, or trap hole card. This is how this deck beats you. It's crazy good. We'll make Exo Sister. Well, I did not see that one coming. You can detach one material, target one monster your opponent controls, and return it to the hand. That, that's a good out. Castell might be a little better, but that's a good out. Wow. That was masterfully played by Tamias. And right now, I'm going to show you guys a deck list in what Tamias is playing. I think that it's really, really cool. Okay, so this is Tamias' build. There's three Maxi, three Ash, three Mermelo, one DNA. I think you should play another DNA. Three Mantis, one Arrow Compa, three Pudica, three of the Trap Tricks Ultra Rare card. I don't think that this is a great card. You can actually drop this card. It's it's not as good as you think. It's it's pretty mid. But with Pot of Prosperity not existing and Master Duel at the capacity, I can see why people would play it. But I personally still would not play the card. Three Trap Tricks Garden. This is a card that you don't need three of. One is also fine. Um, two bottomless, uh, a lot of trap trick builds don't play this, but I can see it being solid. Floodgate is good. Imperm is good. Trap trick. I mean, he's on theme. He's on theme. Not necessary, but still, I like his approach. Two terrifying, three hole, and two anti spell frigates. Overall, I like his main deck approach. It seems to obviously do well in masters. Um, there are definitely some choices that you guys can decide to make, like some of the things that I told you about, that you can swap in and swap out and still do extremely well. For the extra deck, one Dweller, two Reflacia, one Redoer, excuse me, one uh, Almeris, one Almeris, one Aerosophiel, <laughs> one Baguska. I forget this card's name. This is the new level four plant monster that came in in the packs. This card's pretty good. Uh, one Pingulica. One Zeus, two Sarah, three Sarah, two Sarah. You know, if you can't afford three Sarah, it's fine. Two Sarah's fine. Sheep Shrub, that's this card's name. One Curlax, <laughs> one Octopus, and one Axis Code Talker. Some cards that you could consider playing is Therion, the plant Therion. I forget its name right now. That and Therion King Regulus. You can also consider playing the Rank 4 Spriggans monster alongside of the, the gigantic champion Sargus. Um, you can play, what's that card name? Borea, yeah, Therion Lily Borea. You can also consider playing um, the Arrow Mage Aroma Seraphy Jasmine to be able to morph your cards into other cards. All of those cards are very viable options that I've just given you. Some really good trap cards with the deck are evenly matched. Evenly matched is really, really good because you can also discard it with whole tail and it's great in the format. Some cards you're going to have to watch out for is evenly matched in red reboot, obviously. 
But overall, I really hope you guys enjoyed the, the video. And if you guys have a deck that you want to show, you already know what to do. Just follow the rules down below in the description. And I'll catch you on the next one.